Erica Martinez here. A little chilly today. Yeah, but we had some chilly. sunshine, right? We'll take it. Yeah, we'll yeah. take it. I mean, I took it for sure because it was just very nice <laughs> out there. It was dry. That and because was... we don't have a choice. We don't have That's a choice. Right. That's a really good point, Sonia. Yeah, yeah no but problem. we do have a very nice night, mostly clear to clear skies. However, very cold night. So clouds and radar right now painting a dry picture. Clouds already exiting towards the east. So really a mostly clear to clear night. But look at how cold it's going to be. Low to mid 20s for the inland area shoreline. Low 30s. Northerly winds up to 10 miles per hour as we sit behind that cold front. So it's going to be pretty chilly tonight. However, it will remain dry and quiet until Saturday. Unsettled by late Sunday, and we're still tracking that coastal storm here at Storm Team 8. New Haven current temperature 43 degrees. Capital City, Hartford 44 for you. We've got Greenwich a little bit cooler there at 44. Westport at 43. New Milford also seeing low 40s. Upper 30s for Salisbury and Granby. Cromwell 42. We've got Montville at 43. Canterbury also seeing 42. Old Lyme low 40s. Mid 40s for Groton and Danielson. Current temperature 42 degrees. Now New London 43. So we've got those mostly clear skies, but as I zoom out just a little bit, we may see a couple of extra clouds start to push in by Friday. So I've just adjusted my forecast for your Friday. It still will be dry, but a couple of extra clouds pushing on through. Otherwise, tomorrow mid to upper 40s. Winds will remain calm, but still coming out of the North, so still a chilly day. Those sunny skies, dry conditions, ideal fall day. Sunrise, 6:40 a.m. and sunset, 4:32 p.m. Yes, the day is just a little bit shorter. However, by the winter solstice, we're going to get those longer days. Something to look forward to. Now the day does start off rather cool, 33 degrees. So a chilly start. Bundle up. We've got those sunny skies all day long. Lunchtime, 45 degrees. Again, topping out in the mid to upper 40s. Again, all due to that cold front. However, things will start to warm up just a little bit. By by the end of the week into your weekend, 44 by 4 p.m. And the Inland Planner seeing that similar trend, dry and sunny for tomorrow, but a little bit cooler there at 31 degrees. It may even be just a little bit cooler, perhaps upper 20s, but I'm favoring those low 30s right now. 42 by your lunchtime and 4 p.m., 44 degrees. So. As we sit behind that cold front, everything will remain cool but dry, and then those extra clouds start to push on in. However, I'm really focusing on that storm that will be here by next week. Now, here's a look at the extended eight day forecast. Increasing clouds by your Saturday, but notice that it will be just a little bit warmer. Even those overnight lows trending in the mid to upper 30s for the shoreline by Sunday, increasing clouds, and we could see some late showers Sunday into Monday as the system starts to move in and really dominate over the the state until Wednesday. Now, a couple of models are favoring this system moving out into sea. Others are just pushing it up the coastline a little too soon to tell. Windy conditions for sure. Temperatures also dipping into the mid to upper 40s. Inland seeing those cooler temperatures. A couple of cold nights ahead. We've got 27 on your Thursday night, Friday 29 and low 30s for the following day. So it's going to be cool out there. And really the focus is that storm that may may be here by the beginning of next week for your holiday week. Still too early to tell whether it will be mostly rain or a mix or mostly snow, but the good news is it's trending out into sea, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah, that's that good is news. good news. Yeah. Yeah.